Hi, in this video I'm going to cover how to create a named constant. So this is the concept that you can name a, a range of cells. For example, let's say that I select these cells and I call the, the cell item. And what will show up if I go under uh, Name Manager, if I go under Formulas, go into Name Manager, you'll see that there is an item name and it reflects that range of cells. Now you'll notice that there's these other names and you can actually just create a name constant. And why would we want to create a name constant? Well, let's say for example we wanted to, uh, we have a table here and we wanted to add a fee uh, to this cost. And we didn't want to add another table that, that lists maybe the fee for US, a fee for uh, uh, India or, or China or Great Britain or Canada. And we just wanted to type that in. So basically all I need to do is type equal uh, this plus maybe US is just US. And you can see that there's a tag there and it's, it's going to add a fee, it's going to add a numerical value that's identified with that name. And the same here for uh, India. So it's going to add that plus I named, I gave a name range for a value IN. And it's there and the same for China. So I can do equal that plus uh, CN, CN, and that's there and the same for Great Britain. So basically this is something that you can do and you don't need to have an extra table or cell or range of cells that identify these name ranges. So if I finish this last one here, I'll show you what it looks like. So for example, if I put this one, oops, C6, this value plus uh, Canada, and that gives me that value, so 48. So you notice if I open up Name Manager here and I had these different values here, so for uh, CA, Canada, that value was 10. 10 plus 38 is 48. And same for China. China is 15. So I have China 89 plus 15 is 104. So basically all you need to do is just create a name and a, apply a value to it. And basically you're just applying a formula. The formula, any formula in Excel starts with an equal sign most of the time. And in this instance, we're providing a numerical value for the formula. In, in the formula, you can also provide text or a, a set of functions together. But in this case, if we don't want, we, if we didn't want to take up extra space, extra worksheet space, we can define numerical uh, values for a name. So how else could this be useful? Let me go ahead and go into another sheet here. Let's say, for example, we have an invoice, and maybe uh, there's two taxes that we need to worry about. Uh, if we're shipping out to uh, maybe California versus shipping out to um, another state or Oregon or whatever. So I'm just going to make up some tax amounts here. So what we can do is we can create two names, maybe one for California and one for Oregon. And we can just apply those names here. So what I can do is I can go under Name Manager. And let me go and move this over here. So the Name Manager is under the Formulas tab. So let's create a new one. Let's create one for California. So we'll say uh, Tax, uh, Tax, and CA, All right? Tax CA. And we're going to call, we're going to give that tax 0.09, right? That's for California. And let's go and create a new one for, let's say, Oregon. And we're going to create one for Oregon State, tax uh, dash o, tax uh, OR. And then for Oregon, maybe we'll say that is uh, 0.10. Uh, maybe we'll say Oregon is cheaper. Uh, California, everything's expensive in California. So we'll do 05, right? Oops, 05, 05. Click OK. Right? And so while, now we have one tax CA and tax OR. I'm going to go ahead and close this. If I type in equal to, equals, then it gives me the opportunity now to uh, type in tax. And I have two, two to choose from. I can either type CA or Oregon. So if I type, if I click on CA and press enter, it would give me 0.09. Of course, we should make this percentage. So I can go up here into the home and click on that percentage and it's going to make it 9%. Right? And so what I can do now here is uh, make this a formula uh, plus uh, that times the tax here. Press enter and now we have our tax. So if I wanted to change this, if this is not shipping to California, maybe this is shipping to Oregon. I can just type equal tax and then select Oregon, which is 5%, and then that would change there. So that's one use of a name constant. We can give a name to a value or we can even give it to a string but in this case I'm giving it to a value and then I don't need to put that value anywhere else in the cell I don't need to put it in another worksheet I can just keep it in memory uh, under the name manager and then I can just use these names to apply it 
So that's a use of a name constant. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.